Hey there, welcome to Calico Cow Acres. I'm Michaela and we have a lot to do today. In last week's vlog, I showed you guys that I made some cornrows and tilled up this plot. Today we're gonna plant some corn. I got a pro tip for you guys. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. Buy these headband ice packs and keep a bunch of them in the freezer so when you go fill up your water, you can pop one on your head. You look ridiculous, but it feels so good when you're sweaty. I can't believe I'm showing you this. I am so freaking excited right now. We've been waiting so long for this and look what finally just got dropped off. 16 tons of topsoil. It's really hard to like show you the scale, but this is a very large pile. I'm gonna show you what we got here. So it's not like, you know, there's still lots of, actually, honestly, it's like, I thought these were rocks, but it's just wet. <laughs> look at this that's pretty nice it's still obviously you can tell it has a little bit of clay in it because that's just our soil down here but this is beautiful i'm i'm pretty happy about this i'm excited to put the topsoil and get this bed set up too because i want to plant flowers in it but i'm more excited about the hookah culture bed so that can wait I don't know, it's 16 times 16.
for it. Because remember we were like wondering if they were somewhere else? Yeah. So. We're about to break ground on our chicken coop and chicken run. Yeah, gonna dig the holes for like our, I don't know, support posts for like the main framing of the chicken run and coop. So these will be kind of like a makeshift foundation so the coop won't sink into the nice soft dirt when it gets wet. Last night we uh, put all these flags out we kind of changed up our original plan a little bit just because of the hillside being weird. We just got like concrete the, forms. Yeah, concrete forms. So yeah, we can dig the holes and then we'll put the cardboard forms in and then pour the concrete into those. But he's just gonna work on digging the holes right now. And uh, we didn't get concrete, so that's not happening tonight. <laughs> So these are four feet long and you're cutting them in one foot lengths? Yes. Probably a better way to do this, but it's the first thing I thought of. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> Winging it. I mean, that looks pretty good. This is good stuff. It looks kind of stupid, but it's low effort. Yeah. <laughs> These holes are going to be kind of a pain.
I'm gonna try and have Taylor mow this right now, just this little strip, so that I can put cardboard down and put filled dirt over here so we'll have extra flower room. There has been a change in plans. We get to run a tractor supply because the lawnmower won't start yet again. I swear we keep that place in business. We didn't end up finding what we were wanting last night. We went to Lowe's, Tractor Supply, and checked a few other stores. I think the stores that do have it were closed last night, but they should we should be able to get to them before they close tonight because I have a chiropractor appointment, so Taylor's gonna drop me off and to just go get it. It's the fuel pump. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday. Our lawnmower is on its last leg. <laughs> We've probably gotten the like 500 bucks out of it that we paid for it, but it's definitely not going to make it past this year if it makes it through this whole year. So that's going to be something we're going to have to figure out. All right, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but Taylor got the new fuel pump while I was at the chiropractor and he just popped it back on there. And while he mows really quick, I am going to break down more boxes for my little flower bed that I'm working on. While we wait on him to finish whatever he's doing over there, we're gonna move our hoops and put insect netting on one of our beds. And I'll tell you why shortly. All right, well, my camera died, so you didn't get to see half of that. <laughs> I'm hoping it works. I don't know where my little pest is, but if you hadn't guessed yet, it's Ricky. <laughs> he keeps terrorizing my new seedlings in the beds and then they don't grow. So I shouldn't need insect netting on onions, but you can barely tell they're there because they're puny because they keep getting kicked around by a kitten who likes to pee in my beds. So that's why we're doing this. <laughs> I do for the night before I go 
inside and make tortillas for dinner is lay down more cardboard. Taylor mowed all of this for me. I don't have enough cardboard broken down to do all of it, but I'm just gonna lay some stuff down. Friday. The plan for tonight is kind of what the plan has been all week and we're hoping we can actually get it done. Taylor is not even going to touch the lawnmower tonight. That thing is causing us some major, major issues and we're thinking we might have to get a new one, which is really frustrating. But that's just part of all of this. <laughs> Just keep figuring things out as we go. He's hopefully gonna be able to finish up digging the holes for the posts and the concrete that we need to put in. I'm going to be working on my top secret new garden bed project that I've been working on all week. to go help Taylor. What are we doing? I think we're setting up stakes in a string to get straight lines at the corner posts. Um, he has all the other posts, post holes dug, but he doesn't want to do the corner ones until we make sure they're straight. <laughs> what are we got going on here? Um, this is a totally unnecessary step. I'm just marking them all. So I put them roughly the same distance in the ground. Okay. It really doesn't matter. It's just for my own sanity. Okay. I hold string. Pretty decent. up our stuff at home for the night and we made another trip to Wells. I'm sure we'll be making lots of these again but I'm waiting for Taylor to bring the truck over to get concrete. We got the concrete forms and we got gravel as well. Alrighty it's Saturday afternoon and we're getting a really late start <laughs> to our day. It stormed all morning and we uh, didn't do anything today. We matched. We, <laughs> we, we really matched. We even have the same color shorts on. It's not on purpose. Are you gonna help me do dirt? Or are you gonna start digging? I think I'm gonna try to dig. He 
kind of hurt his foot digging. We also just finished stringing. We marked out our posts with string. bit windy today so I need to fix my boxes they keep blowing all over the place Garden beds are done. They look like nothing. <laughs> it does look a lot cleaner though. You gonna help me do some seeds? Oh. <laughs> he finished digging the holes down on the chicken coop, but I didn't put the camera on him because we only have one. And we'll show you that too. It kind of still looks like a hot mess, but it's done. They're pretty straight if you look down the string, so hopefully <laughs> we end up with posts. That's the goal. All right, what's the next step? Um, so tomorrow I'll at least put gravel in all the holes and cut up all the forms and get those in the holes. Okay. And then we'll see if we'll be on time. All right, it's time for us to go plant some seeds. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.